Each year, more than one million guests and an additional one million radio listeners end their summer by enjoying the free Detroit Jazz Festival, which celebrates the vibrant heritage of a distinctly American musical tradition. The Detroit International Jazz Festival takes place each Labor Day weekend. It marries two different art forms, jazz and charitable giving. The first is a synonym for American individualism, the second for civil society. If not for the generous $10 million endowment philanthropist and jazz enthusiast Gretchen Belade established in 2006, the festival might have faded into obscurity or simply ceased to exist. Belade improved Detroit's cultural scene with her gift, just as tens of thousands of Americans have done with their own contributions to countless organizations and enterprises. Jazz evolved in the 19th century out of a form of music closely associated to blues or ragtime. The term jazz was, many believe, born in New Orleans, where the rich mix of ethnicities seemed to facilitate experimentation with different music and performance styles. The history of jazz music also is inextricably linked with the city of Detroit. The jazz age of the 1920s saw the burgeoning musical form take root with the nascent Victor recordings of such luminaries as Bix Beiderbecke, who made some of his first recordings as a member of the Gene Goldcat Orchestra at the Detroit Athletic Club in November 1924. Another reason jazz may have become America's first original art form was the nearly anarchistic setting of American life in the 1800s. For most of the nation, government intrusion was minimal. As government grew bigger, people necessarily get smaller. That is why jazz is important to American cultural history. It is symbolic of American ideals. It not only permits, but encourages individualism, and it does so in a way that allows a collection of improvising musicians to produce admirable works without central direction. It is, to borrow a phrase from economist Friedrich Hayek, spontaneous order. Duke Ellington, perhaps America's greatest jazz composer, said, Jazz is a good barometer of freedom. In its beginnings, the United States of America spawned certain ideals of freedom and independence through which, eventually, jazz was evolved. And the music is so free that many people say it is the only unhampered, unhindered expression of complete freedom yet produced in this country. This is precisely why the Mackinac Center for Public Policy has long opposed government interference in the arts. Reliance on government booty can betray art and artists by limiting support to the best grant writers or to politicians' subjectively favored artists. Government grants also come with government restrictions. In fiscal year 2015, the state of Michigan is expected to redistribute more than $10 million in arts and culture money. That represents involuntary tax contributions from arts patrons and others alike. We encourage the Detroit International Jazz Festival retain its independence from government-appropriated taxpayer dollars. The best mechanism for preserving such independence is through what the Mackinac Center calls civil society. A civil society represents from-the-heart transactions that provide societal benefits through private action. Gretchen Belade improved Detroit's cultural scene with her gift, just as tens of thousands of Americans have done with their own contributions to countless organizations and enterprises. According to an estimate by the Atlas of Giving, Americans donated more than a staggering $416 billion to charity in 2013, up 13% from the previous year. 75% of this total came from individuals. One of Detroit's most endearing qualities is the way it honors its musical past while staying very much in the current musical vanguard. Garage rock, techno, rhythm and blues, and punk all experienced birthing pangs in Motown and are celebrated in festivals throughout the year. Thanks to Valade, jazz will continue to be part of Detroit's wonderful musical medley.